How's it going everyone? We're here to check out the skins for this next week and it is a big update week. So with the update we actually have a new skinnable coming in which is going to be the road sign gloves. And you might have seen last week one accidentally snuck into the store there for a short time. Uh, that was a mistake and if you happen to have purchased it at that time, don't worry you still own it as soon as the update goes live on the 4th this Thursday it will be usable and uh, anyone else who didn't get it it will be back in the store on the 4th as well so that should kind of clear all that up and we'll be jumping into the staging branch to show you some of the road sign gloves that have already been submitted so let's go ahead and jump straight into our skin here we've got this awesome little burlap set and uh, yeah, it's made to look like a kind of like train conductor. And of course, with the war carts coming in, there's going to be a lot of kind of train related stuff. And up here, you've got the PB or PDB, which uh, is, you know, that uh, marking on the actual trains and uh, definitely a cool little burlap set. Next, we got something a little more on the construction-y side, which fits on these work carts, because they're more of a uh, industrial train than they are a choo-choo kind of train, or passenger train. <laughs> choo-choo train is the first thing that goes to mind. I, I don't know why. Anyways, this is the line maintenance set by Duck. And yeah, you've got this cool jacket skin. It's all beat up and, uh, you know, set to be neon and so forth, and uh, just kind of stands out. And then you've got some kind of neon and duct tape stuff going on around the bottoms of the pants. Now, I don't think that's going to stop anyone from running you over down there, but hey, it would definitely be something that fits right in. Next, we got something we haven't seen a skin for a while on, and that is a miner's hat. And this is to go along with that update. I mean, it really just does make sense. It's going to be deep and dark down there. You might want to have some kind of light. And this is just a really nice little rendition to fit right with the update for a miner's cap, which we all know is one of the easiest ways to see in the dark. All right, so as mentioned, the first set of road sign gloves are actually already accepted. They are the Phantom ones, so way back the Phantom set. And this one's also unique in the fact that the road sign part is not actually on one of the gloves. It's only uh, on the one side. So yeah, that's, uh, that's an interesting one. See, so you can see all the road sign pieces there and then none right here. So let's go ahead and swirl around here. We'll go ahead and take a look at the actual road sign part right there. Boom. So yeah, these should be back in the store on the 4th. If you got them beforehand, they will function again on the 4th. The files just needed to be there and they weren't yet. So let's go check out some of the other potential ones that might come in on uh, the 4th as well. Next up, we've got the Army Road Sign Gloves by Shagan. And there's two different versions. There's this green one and there's also a brown uh, like a uh, desert military version. I'm just gonna show this one, but you can check out both in the list down in the description below. So this is definitely a very cool one. It has that kind of like army feel to it. Now, of course, this isn't the same person who made the original kind of army set. So I don't know if that's gonna be something that affects to it, but it's, you know, we'll just have to see how it goes, but it's definitely one I could see a lot of people wanting to grab. Next up, we've got the Looter Gloves by Robstar. And as you can see, these have a very uh, raidery vibe. They've got the flames and hot rod and rust and all sorts of things going on. You've got those knuckles are uh, studded. So the whole thing just has a very punk vibe, uh, hot rod thing going on with it. Definitely could fit quite a few existing sets out there color wise and vibe. So I could see this one doing quite well if it made into the store. Next, we've got the Snow Warrior Road Sign Gloves by Teddy. It's a continuation in his Snow Warrior set, of course, as you can judge by the name. It has that snow camo with some pretty good uh, cuts and scrapes and wear and tear there. Looks like he may have blocked a few knives or something there. And it uh, definitely just has a very nice fit. And, of course, this would go with a lot of other sets as well, not just the Snow Warrior. So it'd make a good, uh, you know, good one to add in there. There we go. I'm losing my words. Next, we've got the Hazard Protection Gloves, which fit the Hazard set, which is a quite an old one. I can see a lot of people wanting to grab it for that. And, of course, this kind of caution tape thing with the skull honestly could go with a lot of other sets as well. So it's kind of a smart idea there. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. The Hazard Protection Gloves. And lastly, for the initial submissions, we've got the Doodle Road Sign Gloves, which, of course, is going to be a continuation of the Doodle set. And it's got a couple of little red dots there to continue that, you know, very slight amount of red added to the set. And you've got a cool little AK there, a rocket, all sorts of stuff. It depends, you know, how you look at it and interpret different things. I think there's a chainsaw in the AK almost, if you look at that. But, of course, it's the AK. I don't know. One way or another, definitely a set that does well. And I could see this one selling quite well along 
with that idea. So that does it for the road sign gloves, guys. Let's go ahead and check out everything else. X, we got two high quality sets for you, and neither of them really have anything to do with the update, but hey, they were still submitted and they're pretty cool. So this one is the snake set, and uh, yeah, you'll be able to see why, because I mean, it, it's got these fangs going on, then there's a snake's tongue, and you can see kind of like the armor plating also looks a lot like a uh, scale, kind of. So that's what they kind of got going on here. I think it's a cool vibe. I can see people digging this. Next up, we've got a new cosplay set from Milo, the king of the cosplay sets. This is the Ladybug High Qual uh, face max and chest piece here. So to go along with it, it's everything you would expect. You've got the Ladybug spots and so forth. And uh, back here, we've got the wings and apparently also wings on the head and uh, some antennas going along the side right here. So there you have it. All right, so let's get into the many deployables we have. This first one is, again, a little choo-choo train. Now, if you look on the sides of it, it's got kind of every type of train. So, I, you know, it maybe it has a chance. But again, not quite the same type of train. Definitely a cool little box, though. Next over here, we've got a few more boxes that kind of fit it a little bit more. This has a very dirty and industrial look to it. This is the Contrabad train box. And yeah, it looks like it's got a bunch of coal and maybe gold in there. Uh, that, that's one thing we've uh, never really had in Rust. It's kind of interesting. So uh, there you have that one. Then over here, we've got a rail cart for you. And this is the railway cart scrap metal box. As you can see, the top of it has a bunch of scrap metal sitting in it. And the rest of it is made to match the rail system. So definitely a nice box with a little label there that says metal. So hey, that'd be nice for people who like to do some organizations. Next, we've got a box over here that's themed after the slot machines coming in this wipe. And we've got the 777, which is definitely that big win you want with those. Definitely a unique little box. And uh, it's definitely, a lot of people like the kind of gambling thing. So maybe you could use this as your scrap box for gambling only. You know, that way you don't use it all for gambling. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a lot of people do that. So one way or another, <laughs> I think we've all had that experience of where'd the scrap go? Oh, I was at bandit camp. And you're like, oh, really, guy? Really? <laughs> Nonetheless, very cool looking box. Over here, we've got a vending machine. It's themed after this update. It says tickets and free maps and so forth. It even has a blue keycard scanner on it. And uh, yeah, it's definitely very beat up and so forth. We'll take a look at it from this end here, and there's uh, not really too much going on. A little anarchy symbol, and uh, that's about it. Popping over here, we've got a door, and I think this one is a little bit early for the card games. Uh, <coughs> that's uh, another thing coming to the game eventually, but isn't quite there yet. But it's definitely a very cool looking door. This is the King Metal Door. And it has a pretty sweet glow, which we'll show you. Next, we've got some PDB doors for you, starting with this double door, and it is the Workheart double door by Diva Dan. Then over here, we've got a garage door for you. This one is the train shed door by Stabby. Next, we've got a door with a little more of a kind of graffiti style here, and it does have a bit of a glow off of that little like stop sign thing going on there. So we'll sure to check this one out with some glow. Next, we've got kind of a more industrial, like armored look to this one. And again, it's themed after the trains coming. Definitely a cool look to it, especially with like the layered armored pieces. Definitely looks quite cool. Then over here, we got something a little more on the artistic side. Uh, again, it's a little train tunnel and uh, you can see dome off in the distance there. Definitely a cool little idea for the uh, more artistic side of things then over here we've got a garage door for the slot machines on the sides you can see all the different stuff you can earn or well i, I should say roll on the slot machine those are the different things and uh, 777 of course is the right one you want so that's what's right here big in the middle then we've got a couple other garage doors they don't really have anything quite to do with the update but they're definitely cool like the artwork on this one is quite awesome the airdrop coming in they're ready to protect their sulfur with all costs then over here we've got this kind of crazy goop monster now we got the single door on it but this one doesn't really fit the rolling up rule at all so i don't know if this has a chance one way or another help like the other door so figured hey we'll toss this one in here too 
And lastly, we've got an armored door for you. This one has a much more clean and elegant look to it. And that beautiful wolf sculpture right there in the middle. Coming around to the back, you can see there's a chain and just kind of pretty much a nice clean look, like I said. And that, guys, will do it for the deployables. Let's go ahead and check them out at night. As you'll see, the vending machine doesn't have any kind of special glow. I know people always ask for that. And then, like I said, this door here, definitely a very cool glow there. And there's a hidden kind of little glow on the double door with just the tail lights, which I think is a nice little effect. Moving on over here, there's that red stop light right there, and it kind of makes what looks like a butt. Hmm, just notice that. That's uh, interesting, to say the least. <laughs> but uh, yeah, then we head on down to here, and that does it, guys. Those are only glowing deployables this week. All right, let's take a look at those tools and weapons. Here we've got a hammer for you. And this has a really cool kind of art style on it. The whole thing looks like this monster subway cart. And uh, yeah, definitely very, very cool and artistic. Then we've got a hammer here for you. This one is themed after, of course, the update here. It's got that PBD or PDB. I can't even say it anymore at this point. And some traffic lights. And it's nice and beat up. Looks like it's been used and left behind. Then we've got a rock for you, which is part of a very popular set. It looks like Cirque's From Hell set is going to continue with a crazy-looking gemstone-ish hellish rock. So there it is. Is that like teeth in it? I, I don't even know what to call that right there. I, that looks like teeth. Maybe half a jaw or something? I, I'm not sure. Next, we've got two jackhammers for you. Starting with this one, of course, themed to fit the update. And uh, this one looks all worn and torn and has some nice kind of like old kind of chrome to it. Definitely fits into rust quite well. Then we've got an even dirtier jackhammer for you. This one here is the coal miner and boy, it is covered in coal dust like mad. But I just want to mention like it really does look like it's covered in coal dust. It's not just something kind of like painted over. And uh, that's kind of the thing that makes the difference. Like that is just crazy how it looks like old dust. Then we've got a knife for you here. This one has a very cool effect going on right there. As you can see, this is the pixelation combat knife. And uh, yeah, it's just got these kind of like shiny pixel tiles between a kind of tiger striped blade. Definitely something quite different. And uh, I can see a lot of people liking this. Next up, we've got a bow for you, and this one has this beautiful eagle on it and some beautiful uh, blue strapping and so forth. It has a bit of an Asian vibe to it, and that's probably because it is called the Samurai Bow. So not sure what this eagle exactly has to do with samurais, but it is definitely a very, very beautiful bow. Go ahead and drop back there. You can even see there's like little silver, de uh, silver, gold details coming through the red part there. Next, we've got a couple pythons for you, starting with this one right here. This is the Gambler's Python, and uh, yeah, it's just got that ivory grip and uh, gold trim and everything. It's just really clean cut and something that could fit right into those slot machines. I, I feel like this would be like the ultimate reward or something. Could you see this popping out of a slot machine? That would be sick, right? Uh, of course, yeah, that's not how it works. Next, we've got another python for you, and this one is more trained-themed, it's the Death Express. Kind of has an old cowboy vibe going to it, but uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely very cool. I love the style of this one for sure. Go ahead and pop a reload. Aim down the sides there. Next, we've got a SAR for you. This one is made, of course, to look like the work carts. And it looks like someone wrote SAR on it, but wrong. And uh, yeah, SAR, or the A is an anarchy symbol. Never mind. There we go. I can see that better now. And yeah, this, the whole thing is crusty and rusty, and it fits right into those work carts. Aiming down the sight, I'm pretty sure that's some blood. I was going to say that's some red paint, but there's no red really anywhere else. So, hmm. Definitely an interesting one there. Next, we've got a Thompson for you, and this one is part of the weather set. So, yeah, I don't know if, uh, personally, the weather set onto, you know, guns, I don't know. How do you like it? I, I feel like it fits really well, but uh, it's not something I personally would want. I kind of like the deployables, but not so much on a weapon. So, what do you guys think about that one? It's definitely well done. 
There we go. Pop that reload. Next, we've got a custom for you, and this one is themed right after the work carts. Whole thing is all rusty and crusty, and uh, it's got that PDB maintenance written on there. Aiming down the sights, you've got what looks kind of like an old work lamp, kind of. I thought that was a cool little effect. And there you have it. Definitely a nice set of weapons. All right, if you like AKs, we've got AKs, starting with this AK right here. This one is the, let's see, Choo Choo? No, AK-47 Maintenance. Man, there's so many AKs, guys. And uh, this one has got the PD, ooh, e, oops. Uh, you might want to fix that one. It is supposed to be PDB. Uh, it might have just been my bad. I load in the wrong one, but I'm pretty sure I only saw the one version of this. That aside, definitely a cool uh, kind of carving to it. A very industrial look. Fits with the update quite well. Now, here we go. This is the Choo Choo one. This is the Choo Choo AK-47. And as you can see, it's got the same kind of like uh, industrial look to it, messed up and dirty. Uh, it does have PDB properly, so that's good there. When you aim down the sights, you got a little red painted sight and a uh, stop and go light for you there. Pop a reload. Next, we've got another AK. This one has more of a kind of like graffiti style, but then the AK itself almost looks like it's made out of like, I don't know, like cargo parts. It's definitely very unique looking and uh, something I can see a lot of people liking for that reason. Aiming down the sights, you kind of got like a gold on yellow versus black tips kind of thing going on there, which uh, I, I think that can help you kind of focus a bit. And there's that reload. Next, we've got a very clean AK for you, and this one I could see being very popular if I had a chance. This is the Kill Streak AK by Trix, and uh, yeah, it's got this kind of like orange gold going through it, and you've got this very clean white and black, bright red uh, sight for you. This whole thing just is a very clean AK. I could see a lot of people loving. Next, we've got more AKs. I told you there's AK after AK after AK, and this one is the Lowrider AK by Raven. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure why it's really called Lowrider, um, but it's definitely got a really unique design to it. Aiming down, there's a design there with orange sights with a kind of like, I guess, iron tip, looks like. There you go. And next, we've got a very bright AK for you. This one is the Rainbow Slime AK. And uh, yeah, the whole thing just looks like it has, well, Rainbow Slime dripping all over it. So definitely a very cool effect. You can really see it well there on the front of the barrel, where it's just kind of that black contrast against the slime. Even down the sides here, you've got kind of like a slime gradient going on with the black tip. And then we'll go ahead and pop that reload for you. And last but not least, guys, here is the last couple of AKs. Look at this one here. This has this amazing artwork on the side of it. This is the Pixel World AR by FaZe. Aiming down the sights, you can see the same pixel little uh, hazy guy staring back at you. But just look at that. I mean, that art alone is just amazing. And it fits to the AK body pretty well. And there's that reload. Last AK for you is another one with some really cool art on it. This is the Alien AK by Nixon. And uh, yeah, it's got all this crazy aliens. They see all this going on. There's brains everywhere. You, you gotta love just this whole thing is just awesome looking. Aim down the sights there for you. And we'll pump that reload. Next, we've got a Balti for you, and it's a continuation in the beautiful Jade set. So this is, of course, the Jade Bar. Aim down the sights, you've got a beautiful flower there, and the sights have kind of like really, really red tips. That's almost distractingly red. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that one myself, but it's definitely very, very beautiful. See this one going in at a high price and uh, pretty decent buys. Next, we've got an LR for you. This one is a continuation in the Freedom set. So this is the Freedom LR. There's, of course, a glowing and a non-glowing version, so I'll be sure to show you the glow here at the end, as always. 
It's got that big old anarchy symbol and uh, the same kind of busted up, uh, rusty graffiti kind of style thing going on with it. There's that reload. And a little aim down the sights, which are quite rusty and crusty for sure. And there's that crown. Oop. Next, we've got an LR that fits the update. This is the PDB, or Worker's LR, I should say. And it's got a very kind of like simple design to it. I really like kind of the zigzag thing going on there. And it really just kind of breaks up the gun, adds something unique to it. Aim down the sights, you've got a little skull and uh, some of that construction orangey yellow with a bright red sight to help you focus. Lastly, we've got a satchel charge for you, and this one is absolutely awesome. It is the Boom Box, and, uh, you know, it should make pretty obvious why, right? And the cool thing, you know, it says drop the base. You just gotta love it. Altogether, this whole thing is just really well done. That's gonna do it, though, guys, so let's go ahead and check out everything at night, and uh, thanks for watching. Stay rusty, guys, and we'll see you for this big update coming on Thursday. And more Twitch drops.